Here at Alternate Reality, we do multi-day sale aromas every single month featuring different items here at the store. This month, we're doing the Action Man sale. What's the Action Man sale? Every single action figure I've got in the store is buy two and get a third one free. That's McFarlane Spawn, McFarlane Sports Figures, DC Direct, Manga Action Figures, Kids Action Figures, Gaming Action Figures, Marvel Select. All of my action figures are buy any two, you get a third one free here at Alternate Reality. Don't you miss it. Something small is kind of funny. And I think it's the Marvel news. Is that it? Is that all you got? Marvel news episode 29, the jelly supremacy. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for Marvel Comics News. And joining me in the Marvel Universe here at Alternate Reality is... Bo, how you doing kids? And we've got all the Marvel news that's fit to print. Be sure to stop off at Alternate Reality. All new comics, including every Marvel comic that comes out every week, is 15% off every, all the time for everyone. All you got to do is show up and buy it. First story we got is Brian Michael Bendis' new, of new old, the, what is it, the, the, new? Avengers. Avengers. Plain old Avengers. Plain old Avengers. Brian Michael Bendis has some startling new plans with a, with a, with a big lineup change. What's a big lineup change? Well, we already knew that the, the team included Captain yes. America, Iron Man, yes. Thor, Spider-Woman, yes. and Hawkeye, but Bendis yes. goes, that's not the entire roster of the team. That's just the stuff we use for promo stuff. <laughs> in fact, he said Luke Cage will be in it as well because he loves Luke Cage, and there will be some other members who will be introduced in Avengers number 1. Now, okay. that issue will define the team's role in the Marvel Universe after Siege. Yeah. It'll show their new headquarters. They're not going to hang out where Norman They're not going to be hanging. downtown anymore? Not where Norman Osborn hung out. Are they rebuilding the mansion? Uh, they didn't say. Are they going to a cave? They No, they won't go Well, to they, they have a satellite. They, they, well, maybe it's a satellite. <laughs> It'll also introduce a supporting cast. Will they be in the Hall of Justice? <laughs> they could be in the Hall of Justice. I think you could pick it up for a buck. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice, the Avengers move in. <laughs> now, the first arc of this Avengers series in? will involve... Yeah. A new take on Kang. Thank God. <laughs> because they were like, what do we do with this guy? And they went, How about ignore this? him. Ignore him. No, How about ignoring him? Never. Let's just get <laughs> no, everyone does not love Kang. love Kang. Kang had been beaten to death. Just because of his mask. He's Th been thank you, years. Alex. Thank, thank you, Kurt Busiek, for beating Kang into the ground. He's a conqueror. <laughs> Here's a bulletin from the newsroom. It is being reported that Free Comic Book Day will be returning on the first Saturday in the month of May. As they have in the past... Alternate Reality, located in Mount Greenwood, will once again be participating. To repeat, Free Comic Book Day is returning on May the 1st, and Alternate Reality will once again be participating. We will, of course, break back in if there are any updates to the story. We now return to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Next up, the Heroic Age is coming, and big changes are coming to the Fantastic Four, including, what is the Future Foundation? In Fantastic Four, is that, is that a woman's cancer thing? No, Reed oh. Richards is going to look at the world the way it is after Siege. He's going to create the Future Foundation, which will basically be an organization that will help humanity and specifically kids. Kids. Little well, kids. what a good idea. And writer Jonathan Hickman says the book is planned out all the way up to 600, and he's got, he says it's going to be this big, huge surprise when 600 comes out. The team's going to break up. No, the team's not going to They're gonna break up. going to break up and get back together. No, the team's not going to break up. Dr. Verdun's going to no, take over the world. No, yeah, no, okay. no, no, no. And what's going to be weird about this, Hickman says in the book at this point, they're not going to be doing these four or five issue arcs. It's going to be two issue stories, single issue stories. And so trading these is going to be kind of weird. I'm sure they'll figure out a way to do it. No, they'll put it in the book. Uh, I mentioned women before with the Future Foundation, but it's not it's about kids. But women in comics, uh, the celebration that Marvel is doing all this year, all for the year 2010, year. will include... Well, first off, we should mention that Girl Comics number one is shipping this Wednesday. March 3rd. March 3rd. That's part of the thing, but... And it'll be 40% off. You'll, this will you'll, be happen, have happened long after watch you see your this. Watch Ship but, Shape. Watch Ship Shape. You should always watch Ship Shape. But part of Women in Comics... Cross promotion. Thank you, Jeffy. No, part no. of that little promotion will be, will be a, a one-shot called Rescue, Rescue. involving uh, Pepper Potts, who happens to have an Iron Man armor on her right now. It'll be written by Kelly Sue DeConnick, who happens to be the wife of uh, Ed Brubaker. Okay. And it'll have Pepper being involved in the siege event. What is she rescuing? That, no, that's her name. Oh, Rescue. That's her name. Her name is Rescue. Iron Rescue? No, just Rescue. <laughs> rescue Woman? Plain old Rescue. Oh, okay. Even though she's wearing rescue an Iron Man costume. Girl. She's wearing an Iron Man costume. Her name is just Plain old Rescue. So you got Iron Man, War Machine, and Rescue. And Rescue. Okay. Uh, last story we've got up is uh, John Arcudi and Eric Cantel are doing a four-issue, four-issue limited series. How many called issues? Four issues. 
<laughs> not three, not two, not one. Four issue Four limited and a half? series. Five no. issues. It, which involves Luke Cage. It'll be called New Avengers Luke Cage, and it'll involve Sweet Luke Cage Christmas. <laughs> going to North Philadelphia to help yes. a son of a friend who you remember. Son when of Luke, a who? Remember when Luke Cage first started? He yes. basically came up with Hero for Hire thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Where he was in the neighborhood and you would hire him to solve problems. That's right. Well, the son of a friend of his does the same thing in North Philly and gets the crap beat out of him. And Kick so, ass! And so Luke goes, yeah, so Luke goes to North Philly to help the kid out. And of course, once he gets there, he finds out that things are not what they seem. <laughs> what are they? Well, I don't know. It's not what they seem. Something else. Well, okay. So what are they then? I don't, it, I don't know. Well, what are they normally? Well, he would assume he'd be going here to help out this kid, but apparently there's a little more stuff going on than that. And, uh, and by the way, Arcudi promised the return of a classic Luke Cage villain. Could it be Diamondback or Copperhead? I hope it's a cockroach. A oh, cockroach. Oh, Black yes. Mariah. Black Mariah. Welfare mom. <laughs> well, 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 Black well, Mariah was, well, well, was welfare mom. <laughs> Black Mariah. Maybe it'll be Black Mariah. I always, I always like. What was, what was the name of the guy with the with the roulette wheel on his chest? The Spanish roulette. guy with the. It was with, roulette. Mr. Suerte. Mr. Mr. Suerte. Mr. Suerte. Mr. Suerte and Mr. Morte. Yeah, that's right. I I always liked him. He, uh, which have fifty fifty chance of living or dying. Pick one. Pick one. Pick Spin one. Pick it, one. And all of a sudden he'd do whatever. Spin he wants. the wheel, make a deal. Long before Pat Sajak. Or Two Face. Or Two Face. No, not long before Two Face. Two no, Face is back in the forties. He was saying. more attractive than Two Face. His face was a scar. Yes. Yes. He, yes. he was very. He was very dapper. He was very swarthy. Yes. Very swarthy. Very sweet. So that's all we got for Marvel news this time. But be sure to stop off at the store's website where Mr. Suarte is waiting for you to, oh. to see all of the new news that Bo sends me to, to post up. And he's also going to be picking up a copy of the Speedy, ben Speedy Gonzales book. Yes, he will. Under the end of the year. So, as where's the store's website at? Oh, Sarah knows. Sarah, help. www.myalternatereality.com You know, I've never actually been there. So stop off at the store's website, read all the Marvel news that Bo sends me that I post up, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man saying, don't forget, New Comic Wednesday, we're open at 8 a.m. here at the store. You get all your Marvels. Really? Really. Swear to God, I'm here at 8 a.m. You new. are? Uh, every Wednesday. Every I'm new at, Comic no, Wednesday. I don't, I don't, 8 o'clock, no. I don't even <sighs> think about getting up that early. Not, not a chance not in not hell. Happen. Not a chance in hell. Never happened. So, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. <laughs> saying, Bye. can we go home now? Bye. Deja vu all over again. <laughs> Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.